Okay, in today's video we're just going to have a look at how to update the camera firmware specifically using the Lumix Sync app. So uh, today we've had a firmware update, it's um, version uh, 2.4 for the Panasonic GH6 and uh, we're just going to install that using the uh, Sync app. I've sort of done a video about what's on that firmware update specifically but um, yeah, we, we've done previously, all of the firmware updates we've done have been through um, using the computer, downloading the software, putting it onto the card and updating it that way. And that is my preferred method and I'll link up in the corner on kind of how you can do that. Um, but I thought in this video, you know, we'll just look at it this way and we'll, we'll do it through the Sync app as opposed to actually doing it through the camera. Um, so the first sort of prerequisite, make sure you've got a pretty full battery, mine's at about 80%, so um, ideally it would be full, but it's not a huge update, I know this one, so um, it, it should be absolutely fine. So if you haven't got Lumix Sync app set up, um, link to the I'll link to the video up in a corner, jump into that video, get yourself all set up with a camera and everything. It's worth doing that even if you're not going to update firmware through it, it's really useful, there's lots of features in there that are really good. So um, get yourself set up on it and then jump back into this and then what we're going to do is just hit the menu up in the corner, firmware update, and then I know this firmware should be here because it's come out today, so we'll just hit download, agree to the terms, hit download. and you'll need the phone to be connected to Wi-Fi. If you're connected to your camera, you've got no Wi-Fi essentially. So um, what you need to do is just be connected to your home Wi-Fi network um, or you know, do it over mobile data, however you want to do it. This update's not enormous. It's you know under 200 meg, as you can see there. Some of the updates have been pretty big, like previously, um, you know, 2.1 and 2.2, I believe were like the biggest ones. So, they will take up a lot more space and obviously you're downloading this to your phone. So uh, like I say, preferably my sort of way of doing it really is doing it through the cards, but being this just kind of a small update, I figured we'd kind of do it through here and it doesn't look like it's gonna take very long to download. So we're sort of over over halfway already. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go once it's downloaded. And then we're pretty much there now. So once the... Um, once the download's finished, we'll just kind of wrap that up and then it should give you the option to update. Okay, and you can see there, so connect the camera via Wi-Fi to send the firmware to the camera. So this bit, I do think is a bit clunky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so if you cancel out of this and connect through the Lumix Sync app, then it all kind of goes sideways and it doesn't work. Um, so what we're gonna do is set the camera up um, hopefully you can see this, it might not focus on it very well. Um, what we can do is just jump into menu and we're in the uh, spanner or the wrench and then the little cube with the kind of Wi-Fi icon and it's the in-out menu and we're just going to jump into Wi-Fi. Like I say, we've already previously set this up so we're not actually doing anything, we're just connecting to an old device. So we hit Wi-Fi function, select from history and this one here is my phone so I'm just going to try and connect to that which will get the uh, the Wi-Fi signal going on it I'm just going to jump into my Wi-Fi menu here uh, I might have to jump ah it was there sorry <laughs> there we go so if I can jump into that now just jump back into the app now I'm connected to my phone and then I should now be able to hit update it will just sort of link over to the camera there shouldn't be a problem connecting because it has previously been connected to there so it should all be all right you can see it's just searching for the camera just kind of going through the camera now says it's connecting to wi-fi and there we go we've got the the wi-fi connections on it's sending the firmware update to the camera and as i say th this one is not an enormous update so you know there's sort of two minutes on there. Um, it, it, like I said, just make sure the battery's got a half decent charge on it. If it hasn't, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it, but if you're in a pinch and you have to, you could maybe plug in a power bank. Um, I mean, you could use things like the um, the AC10 adapter as well. I'll kind of leave a link up to that, but it's uh, sort of like a, a power adapter for it, which 
you know, if you're doing any kind of um, stuff in the in the same place all the time and you've got access to power, then the the AC10 is like a really a really good way to work. You know, it's just uh, saves you having to charge batteries all the time. So um, yeah, I I just just uh, make sure it's got lots of uh, lots of battery because the last thing you want it to do halfway through this is the camera to just switch itself off and then it brick the firmware. They're quite good modern cameras for not doing that because if the installation's not complete, usually they roll back. But you know, that's not to say that happens every time. So <laughs> just uh, just kind of be aware of that and just make sure that you're kind of follow following those kind of best practices. Um, I, I'll mention as well in this, um, I was on firmware version 2.3. Um, I should have shown you that actually in the camera. Um, I'll leave a little thing up in the corner because um, uh, where you can see like what it was on. But um, yeah, we're going from firmware version 2.3 here to 2.4. And like I say, that's, that's a pretty small update. So um, if you're jumping multiple versions, it's going to take longer. It takes longer anyway on this, I would say, than putting it onto the card and just doing it that way. I, I think that is a much quicker option, so um, th this way does take a bit longer. But, you know, it's easier than having a clear card to put things onto, um, you know, cards from the computer. You might not have access to a computer and this might just be the preferred way. You can do it through a tablet as well, you know, if you've got... Um, if you don't have a phone, you can uh, actually download the Lumix Sync app to a tablet that's iOS or Android. Like I say, check out the other video if you're not using it because it's a really good um, it's a really good tool for the camera. You know, it it actually adds a lot of features to the camera that um, give it a lot more value than as kind of standalone. Okay, and we're almost there now, so it's almost sent the update to the camera. And don't worry about the, the camera at this point, it's, it's just a black screen, there's nothing there, so um, there's nothing to kind of do. Obviously don't turn your camera off or anything like that, just just wait for um, just wait for all the prompts and you should be uh, you should be alright. You can see now, so it's sent the firmware update to here, as if we were going to kind of do it on a, do it on a card. And now the camera's got the firmware and it's going to start running the update, so you can see it's just started the um, that update process there. So I'll just put that down. And if this is going to take a long time, I'll just speed up this part of the video. But as I say, I think what will happen is it will probably just kind of start off as if nothing's happening. And then it should whiz across pretty quickly because it's not a huge update. Okay, and it looks like the update is sort of starting to wrap itself up now. It's quite rapidly kind of approaching the, the end. So um, it, it's what it should do <laughs> when it gets to the end. It should then be switching itself off and rebooting the camera. So again, just don't touch it. Just kind of let it, let it carry on and kind of do its thing. I can hear it now restarting. And then once we're into there... We should be all done and you can see on here that the app has just kind of um, cleared itself because the it's jumped back off of that network now so that's fine so we can um, what we can actually do is jump into the camera uh, let me just move the phone hopefully that's semi in focus uh, and then what you can do is you can jump down into the uh, main menu, the wrench, the second wrench with the little dots under it, come into firmware version, and then you can see here we're on firmware version 2.4, so the update's completed properly and we're all good to go. So you can switch your camera off then and you know do what you need to do, it's all sort of finished and disconnected. Uh, what I'd usually recommend to do is to just switch off you know all of these bits. So turn off Bluetooth again, turn off uh, Wi-Fi, which has disconnected itself anyway, so that's done, but that just saves you a little bit on your battery there. And um, yeah, that's it. So um, hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, give the video a like. If you wanna see more content like this, then please subscribe to the channel.